I love Christmas. It is the best time of year for eating. It's all about big food, big platters to share with the most important people in your life. Now I'm here with Vanessa. Now where are we, Vanessa? We are currently in um, Adelaide, in the Adelaide Hills, yeah. in Blackwood Park, yeah. and we're in one of our Metricon display homes called the Hampshire 45. Isn't that beautiful? I feel very blessed to be cooking this kitchen. I kind of wish this was the kitchen I was cooking on Christmas Day because it is perfect. It is perfect for entertaining. Yes. I like that you said perfect for entertaining because this dish is perfect for entertaining as well. This is a baked side of salmon mm -hmm. with some fine herbs. I love seafood at Christmas. We were chatting, you love seafood at Christmas. I love seafood at Christmas. So this is one that is sort of very approachable because I think everyone knows and likes salmon. It's a very yep. common fish. But we're going to bake it whole, so not many people do that. Yep. Um, it's a great way to, you know, a big centre of table dish. Mm -hmm. With our family, we always eat seafood during the day and then yep. our meats at night. Yep. And so this one, I've been doing it at Christmas for a couple of years now, and you can change the fish, you can change your herbs, but the technique's the simple bit, the easy bit, and it's a bit that sort of impresses people. It's going to look very impressive. When you get that on the middle of the table, yeah. that beautifully set table, it's um, impressive and it's also delicious, so we're ticking all the boxes. All I'm going to do the fish, olive oil and salt. Mm -hmm. Our salmon has, you can see here, striation of fat between the muscle. That's going to sort of render out and yeah. a little bit and give us that nice, moist salmon. All we're doing with the olive oil is just going to give us a nice little cook on top. Yep. And then all we do, a nice season of salt. Now, it might look like a lot. Mm -hmm. By the time it cooks into our fish, it won't be heat. And we need to flavour our fish. This is the only time we get to flavour the actual flesh. I'm just going to peel a fish off this bit of baking paper and just yep. place it onto our tray. And that is as hard as this dish gets. That yep. is super simple. So we're going to go into an oven now, 180 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes, just till you poke a knife in and it's just still a little bit pink in the center, mm -hmm. but the rest of it's cooked through. So Beautiful. do you want to grab the oven? Yeah, of course. And then we'll come back and we'll make a quick sauce for it. So Vanessa, to go with our salmon, we're going to serve some fine herbs. I'm going to use them in two ways. We're going to sprinkle them over the top of the salmon, mm -hmm. and we're also going to mix them into uh, a little sauce to go with as well, with some Beautiful. capers and some shallots and some uh, sour cream. So I might get you to pick some tarragon for me. Yeah, I'd love to. It's my favourite herb. It goes incredibly well with fish. I'm going to start by chopping the other herbs. Mm -hmm. And while we chop herbs, let's, let's chat. I want to know more about Metricon Homes. How long have you guys been building homes for the people of Australia? Yeah, I mean, we've been around for over 40 years now. Wow. We're a family-owned business, um, and we're Australia's leading business. So yeah, wow. more Australians choose to build with Metricon than any other builder in Australia. Really? That's yeah, a great which is, fact. Yeah, quite impressive. Yeah. And we're in Victoria, we're in um, Queensland, New South Wales, and South Australia as that's, well. That's awesome. Yeah. And building heaps of homes. Yeah, a lot of homes. And I guess our whole philosophy is we're not just about building houses. Yep. We're very much about designing lifestyles and homes where oh, people like just that. absolutely love where they live. Hence these awesome kitchens and entertaining areas, which I love. Exactly, yeah. yeah that's cool. Yeah. Oh, I, I think love I'd love it. to design the kitchen anyway. That's yeah, that's well, that's one of the fun. things I love. I love designing <laughs> the home, but I also love designing the kitchen as well. because. Yeah, the kitchen's just the heart of the home. I love that. I love that the heart of the home bit for me. That yeah, is really, it's really it's, that place that brings the family together. Exactly. It's the yeah. only important room in my home, but yeah. Yeah. The kitchen, that's where I spend all of my time. So I've chopped our chives, now I've got some dill. So this is a kind of dish where you can choose your own adventure. It's what I love about cooking. I like some flavours, you might not like some flavours. Yeah. So if you don't like one herb, leave it out. If mm -hmm. you really like another herb and it's not in here, you know, chuck it in. Really, it's, a, it's sort of a choose your own adventure thing. And oh, I think beautiful. that's what I love about cooking is you can do it your own way and you know, add your own little ingredients, your own little touches to make it you know, unique to you. When I chop my herbs, I make sure I don't chop them back and forth. You know when you chop herbs to really fine bits and you get that green spot on your board? Yes. That's all the flavor. That's the essential oils from your parsley or from your herb. All that flavor you want is sort of yeah, wasted, because okay. the board okay. doesn't taste it. No, definitely not. <laughs> so, um, so I make sure I sort of, one or two cuts through my parsley. So I've done one way, I'll go the other way really quickly. Yep. But not spend, you know, 10 minutes back and forth till it's, you know, almost like parsley yeah. flour. So you can see there's not too much green on the board. We've got all the parsley in our bowl here. Tarragon is the same as parsley. I don't want to leave all the, uh, the beautiful flavor on my board, so. Yep. Just back and forth a couple of times. Mm -hmm. You don't want any full leaves, but you, you don't want it again colouring your board. Yeah, definitely. Tarragon done. Yep. Now we're going to mix this up and I'm going to divide it into two. So in your bowl, we pick the tarragon in. Mm -hmm. We'll keep a little bit of our fine herbs back as a garnish for our salmon. 
And then in our mixing bowl, mm -hmm. we're going to add some shallots I've just diced really finely. Yep. And then uh, some capers. This is the hard bit. There we go. Again, like with our other herbs, just really quickly run our knife through just to cut them in half. We don't want a whole caper. And then sour cream. Mm. And you could use creme fraiche, you know, you could use mascarpone would work really well. But I like sour cream for this because the little bit of acid cuts through that fish. Beautiful. I'm going to go a whole tub, so we don't have to worry about measuring it. We're just going to go a whole tub and we're going to mix it together with a whisk. Yep. Just until it's all combined. We're not trying to get any air into this, it's a nice thick sauce. But we just want to whisk it together till combined. And it is as simple as that. So these are the herbs that we chopped and picked Beautiful. that are already our sauce. Yep. And we're going to cover the salmon in it. Now we wouldn't do this before we cook it because they'll go brown. Yeah. So we want to do it fresh afterwards. And the reason we do it on our tray is that we don't want any to spill off on our board. We want our board to look nice and neat. Mm -hmm. You know, coat it quite nicely in these fine herbs. Be generous. Use a whole yeah. bunch of the herbs. And then look, we go onto our board. And if some of the skin comes off, that's fine because we don't eat the skin now. The skin's done its job of just holding the salmon together. Yep. And then all we need to do is with our spoon, mm -hmm. we spoon our sauce into a little bowl so people can serve themselves. Yeah. And that dish is done. It's that simple. This is again, it is amazing. Christmas cooking should be delicious, but it's got to be easy. Yeah. yeah. All right, you take that. Yeah. I'll bring the fish. Let's go eat. Vanessa, this table looks absolutely incredible. Thank you. Well, it's a really great time to start thinking about how you're going to style your home for yeah. Christmas. And a styling really shouldn't stop with just the Christmas tree. Like, no. the dining table is such a perfect opportunity to get creative and create a really beautiful centrepiece for your family and friends to gather around for that Christmas oh, lunch or dinner. I, can see, I love it. It screams Christmas, it screams fun. We've added in a really beautiful pop of colour and we've love decided it. to go with that traditional red to really yeah. tie it back to the festivities of Christmas. And then we've had a lot of fun with the decorations. So we've added in gorgeous childlike decorations such as candy canes, gingerbread, gorgeous little bonbons and red baubles throughout. And it's really about evoking that inner child within you and taking you back to those childhood memories. 